Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I thought I'd have a quick, a closer look at my recent Yuzu purchase. I bought this one to replace the one that I lost that was in ground. It was killed stone dead by the uh, cold weather we had in December. Um, I was expecting it to be hardier than it was, but perhaps the fault was the rootstock because it may not have been grafted onto a hardy enough rootstock like Ponserus. It could have been on something like a bitter orange. You don't really know because they don't tell you anyway. I bought this one to replace it, but I'm not going to be putting this one in the ground. I'm just going to um, put it away in winter, and or at least until it's a very much larger plant. But um, it's quite interesting because it has actually got three flower buds on it, which I wasn't expecting at all. It's not a particularly large plant. The, um, the stem's only about as large as my uh, little finger width wise. And having a look at it, it's obviously grafted around this area here. Now, it's quite likely, it's not easy to tell at the moment, but this might not be a yuzu shoot here, although it looks pretty shriveled anyway, so I don't think it's a problem, but you will only really know by letting this grow more as whether or not it's actually on the edge of the graft, because it looks like they've probably done an angled graft there. You can't really see if this is on the edge of the graft or um, whether it's above or below it. So is that rootstock or is it the grafted variety? Not easy to tell. doesn't really matter because we removed it any time. But what this is doing is putting out loads and loads of new shoots. <clears throat> you have to be careful if you're not wary, aware of Yuzu of how you handle them because they have extremely aggressive thorns that sort of tend to get up to two inches long so about four and a half to five centimeters so they're they're pretty hefty these ones are not quite that big but still enough to puncture you if you um if you handle it carelessly but it's still nice to see seeds you can see the embryo fruit inside there sorry flowers not seeds nice to see flowers you can see the embryo fruit in there um not don't think it's set extremely unlikely um, it probably could hold one fruit this size plant but um, I don't expect any of those flowers to set anything um, it has got to be repotted because it's in this typical sort of heavy thick very fine muddy clay that the a lot of the Spanish and Italian growers use because it's a native soil but it's not really suitable for growing them here unless you're going to keep them in a greenhouse all year round in which case you probably wouldn't have to uh, worry too much. I don't think it would be a major problem because you wouldn't have any risk of them getting over water. But of course, when they're outdoors here, we can't control the rain very easily and they tend to get very, very wet. Um, Yuzu Latin name, it's uh, Citrus Ichangensis crossed with Citrus Reticulata. Um, I don't think these uh, pictures are particularly representative that looks more like a picture of a mandarin on there uh, but of course it's a bit misleading anyway but it nevertheless it's bought as a user and, I, and with these thorns i can be pretty certain it is a user um just going to leave it outside uh, to enjoy the warmer weather when it arrives um as i said I'll, I'll probably repot it in the next week or two but unfortunately i haven't got any of the appropriate um uh, materials to make up the 511 mix i like to use at the moment so we'll just uh, take it all easy and see how it uh, see how it goes but um, I don't think we've got any particularly hot weather coming so these new shoots should be absolutely fine and it looks to me like it'll put on about a good they should put on six to eight inches this year so it should look quite good by the autumn but we'll see how it goes so thanks for watching the video much appreciate it I'll um, obviously ask you to give me a thumbs up you're welcome to share the video perhaps uh, you'd like to subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber and of course click on the bell if you'd like to know when new videos come out so that you can get updates on this and my other citrus i'll catch up with you all soon brett out for now